Hi guys, we have the uh, new Precision Matthews PM833TV, or just the 833 CNC kit, ready now. Um, this is it. We have uh, two different Z screws. We have the 32 millimeter ball screw and the 25 millimeter ball screw. And uh, the 833 is a little different than uh, most of your common RF45 clones. On the Z of the column, the screw is going to have to go through from the bottom. And so you have to remove this mount, which uh, I may pit two flats here. And then the Z slide has a hole in it. The nut holder does not remove. It's permanently attached. So the way the installation process will work is you'll slide this up through the Z slide and then pit the nut on it, which is going to be a little bit harder for people to do, but that's just the way it has to work. Also for the 833, the Z um, slide is going to need to be flipped upside down. And so the slide works both ways. And so that's what we're going to do. And that pits the ball nut on the bottom of it. And for those of you that have the 833, if you ever looked at the Z, you've seen that big casting piece. And then there's an adapter plate. And uh, that way you can uh, run the larger diameter 32 millimeter screw. And then we have the 25 millimeter screw here. So um, it took a while to get this done. The, I wasn't planning on doing the 32 millimeter screw because it won't fit unless you flip the slide over. But then the slide does flip, so we're doing it that way. Next is the x-axis, and it's kind of similar to a lot of the other ones that we have, except we don't have the carrier bearing on the motor side. We're just running a standard one inch plate for your NEMA 34 mounts, and then a 35 millimeter coupler, and it goes underneath the table. Uh, the 833 has oil lines that are down in the same area. It makes it a little bit harder to fit. So it all fits like that. They're the double ball nuts that we rework. They all come nice and tight, so you have a very low backlash system. For the Y, this is kind of the way I do most of my Ys. This is all one piece, and then you have an adapter plate for your NEMA 34s, a 40 millimeter coupler, a uh, kind of custom fitting Y ball nut piece. Uh, the Y axis on the 833 gives you a little bit over 12 inches of travel without the way guards on there, which is kind of nice. You get 22 inches of travel out of the X, and I didn't measure the Z, but you don't lose any travel at all. Um, because this mounts on the bottom of the ball nut, it will travel all the way up to the top of the mill and not hit anything. So it's kind of a nice setup, and the kit is, everything's fitting now, and it's ready to go out. So it uh, was rather uh, challenging. I got a guy here in town that has the 833, and I like the castings on it. It has a lot of webbing in the Z column. The base is quite nice. The fit and finish is excellent on it. The grind job on the ways is the smoothest I've ever seen. So you do get um, something extra for paying for the uh, top quality Taiwan made RF45 mills, RF45 style. So this is gonna be going out now. Um, I'll have my email in the description. And it won't be added to the website for a while, I imagine, just because uh, my web guy takes a long time to get stuff done on his website. So, But it is shipping out. I'm making the parts one at a time. So as of the posting date of this, it'll be a little slow. But as time goes on, the wait time on the 833 will probably be you know, 10, 15 days. So, But right now, the 833 is one of the few mills that Precision Matthews has in stock. So I'm sure it'll be popular. So this is it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.